Welcome back guys, you're watching Maths 911 and remember you guys can phone us on 08600 62847. The phones have not been ringing or stopped ringing tonight. You guys must just remember the phone calls are for free. It is totally toll free how it works is we phone you back after we've got your question and then we take you live on the air like we do with our next caller who's Goodness from Limpopo. Good evening Goodness. Yes, good evening. Goodness, I've got your question with me. I'm just busy putting it on the screen for the viewers at home. Yeah. Okay, goodness gave me the coordinates A, which is 3 and 5, B, which is 1 and minus 2. They told us also that C is a point which has coordinates minus 4 and Y. And yes. then we have point D, which is up here. And the coordinate pair there is X and 2. Now, what's yes. important here, guys, at home, is that x is variable and y is variable. We don't have the full coordinate pair. Okay, goodness, your first question there was that we are supposed to find x and y. Yes. Let me just write this down for the viewers. Find x and y. That's the first question. Um, so that a, b, C, D is a rhombus. Now, goodness, yes. what is a rhombus? I've never heard of it. Tell me what it is. Uh, a rhombus is, is, is uh, like a parallelogram. Uh -huh. It is two sides which are parallel, and then the adjacent sides are equal sides. Okay. And so then the, I think the diagonal bisect each other. How do they bisect each other? That's what I wanted to hear. How do those diagonals cut one another? Quickly. Uh, uh, I don't know. At 90 degrees. Yeah, at 90 degrees. Okay. Yes, yes. Goodness, remember yeah. for the square, for the square and for the rhombus, the diagonals yes. bisect one another at 90 degrees. That's very important to remember. Okay. Okay, I'm going to draw this rhombus in here. So they're saying, and guys at home, it's not going to look like a rhombus because my, oh, it, it does come out to look quite similar to a rhombus, but my lines are a little bit skew. But what we know about the rhombus is all sides are, opposite sides are parallel and all four the sides of the rhombus is equal to, are equal to one another. And then... Goodness added for us that if we draw diagonals, those diagonals cut each other at a right angle so that this part of the diagonal is equal to this part and this little bit up there is equal to this little bit up there. But the important thing is the 90 degrees. Goodness, now I want you to more or less try and tell me how did you try to find the values for x and for y? Uh, I tried it but I didn't get the answer. Okay, so you're battling with this question. Yes, I was battling and I didn't get the answer. Okay, I'm going to give you a big tip here and look at what I'm pointing at on the screen, goodness. Yes. I want x, I want y. They belong to this side, both of them, you agree? The side, C, the side CD. Yeah, they belong there. Okay, now, yes. if I want to find C, uh, oh, X, which is in D, and I want to find Y, which is in C, I am going to use the side AB, and I'm going to use it very carefully. Look at what I'm saying. I'm going to say that the gradient for AB has to be equal. In other words, this side has yes, to have an... Do you agree with that? The e okay, now I'm not, I'm not going to use the whole thing. I want you to look carefully. If these yes. gradients are equal to one another, goodness, yes. then I can say that the change in Y values for the 1 for AB 
must be the same as the change in the y values for dc do you agree yeah. with that that's it that's why they parallel you agree well, okay yes okay now look at it. it's a very convenient trick that i'm pulling here five yeah. minus minus two is five plus two five minus the minus two i'm subtracting the two y values to find the change in y value are you with me Sorry? i'm saying that y value minus this y value is equal to the y value of d minus the y value of c yes okay now can you see what's happening here my twos are equal on either side. So I'm going to end up with five, which is equal yes. to minus y. Okay. Can you see? I understand, I understand now, yes. And we just kick the it's y. Y is negative five. Okay. That's it. Okay, now remember, uh, goodness, they usually do this on the high grade paper to you. They give you, yes. a, they give you a parallelogram and they leave variables in these points. Now, okay. the, there's a long way, my girl, that you can do this question that's going to keep you busy for about 10 minutes. Or there's the short way that I just showed you. Yeah. It's working with the two y values on this side. The difference between them must equal the difference between the y values on this side. And I'm now going to do the same for the x values. For the x, yeah. Yes, let's have a look. The change in x for the yeah. line AB. In other words, yeah. that change there is equal to the change in x for the line dc. That is why they are parallel. Okay, so x minus minus 4 gives me x plus 4 is equal to 3 minus 1. You happy so far? You understand what yeah. I'm doing? Okay, x plus 4, now it's baby maths, is equal to 2. You kick the 4 over and you get x is equal to negative 2. Did you follow that? I followed. Okay.